Hi, Patrick Redford here with my friend Ben Blau. Uh, you're familiar with these. These are the ESP symbols popularized in Ghostbusters, but these, these were developed by Dr. Ryan at Duke University to explore the existence of well, psychic phenomenon, um, heightened intuition, and so on. I thought I would um, sort of run you through a test that was actually used at the university to determine whether or not you were um, highly intuitive or not in terms of your psychic ability, not in life, but <laughs> just this. Um, but the, the test, believe it or not, had three trials, and the first two had nothing to do with the symbols themselves. It just had to do with being able to differentiate between the, the two sets of colors, the blue set and the red set. Um, but it's also good, to, at least in this test conditions, to use the same symbols in each set. That way, the, the cards are balanced the same in terms of the same amount of ink and so on and so forth. Let me give those a little mix, like so. And I'll deal them in a row like this. Now here's how the test runs down. It's a double blind test. And instead of trying to figure out which ones are red and which ones are blue, your job is just to, just to figure out which cards are different from the other cards. And this is done by hovering your hand above each card like this and trying to feel the difference. In other words, you're not saying this card is definitely red, this card is definitely blue. You just know that it's different from the other ones. A much more simpler test than trying to identify color. For me, when I do this, I actually get a little bit of a, a tingling in the back of the hand. I've had some people describe it as sort of a, a, dull, a dulling numbness in the hand. It might not be that for you, but you'll feel something. If you feel nothing at all, the best you can do is just guess, but try not to do that. So hover your hand above each one. If you do feel that it's different than the rest, pull it toward, oops, pull it towards you like that. Okay. And I'll let you do that. Again, there's only three that are different, so you're only going for three. really sure, but uh, so I just pull whichever one. Yep, just the three that you feel that are different from Maybe the rest. that one, that one, and that one. Those three there. Moment of truth. Would you be impressed if they were at least different, if the, the first two were at least different colors? Sure. In other words, if this one was blue, this one was red. Check it out. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Okay. Uh, but more importantly, is if every single one it's perfect. And by the way, you not only <laughs> separate out the colors, you manage to separate, separate out the, the symbols as well. That's, that's very good. Now for this to actually be relevant, and this is very impressive for your first try, you'd have to do this over and over and over again in multiple tasks and continue to get it right within a certain amount for it to be relevant. But let's move on to phase two anyway, although that's very good. Uh, and phase two would just add additional cards. It'd be the same test with just more cards. So there's 10 cards, so there's five that are different this time. Again, they would be mixed up for that double blind test. Now I can't lay them out as pretty because they don't have a large enough space here. So I'm just gonna fan them out. Um, I mean, it's just sort of like this. And I'll hold one card out this way and you can hover your hand over top. And if it feels different to you, just like before, same feeling, it'll go into your pile. If not, we'll just leave it behind in the other. Ready? Yeah, I just decide yep, which ones I want. Same game, one at a time. Okay. And you need five of them. I'll take that one. That one? So that's one. I'll take that one. Two? You need three more. I'll pass. Okay. Pass. I'll take that one. You need two more. I'll pass. Okay. Take that one. One more. Pass. And I'll take that one. Do you want to have a an exact? Do you want to have a look at the fir the last one, or are you pretty have good on it? And by the way, I mean just sense, just to be sure, or so I can I can change this. For yeah, if you want to. All right, I'll change it. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Did did they? I'm just curious what the the last feeling there was for you. 
Uh, I don't, I'm not exactly sure. Felt a little different. Okay, well, we're going to call this side the, the red side. We'll call this side the blue side, uh, since that seems to be where you started. But would you be impressed if this was also red and this was also blue? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are. <laughs> In fact, that's pretty good. But more importantly is if <laughs> every, <laughs> every single one um, I didn't match. That's the perfect. You didn't match the symbols that time, but that's pretty good. But that's that's phase three. Do you want to take it a step further? Yes. Most people don't usually get to go sort of all all the way in this, but we, we can try it if you'd like. Phase three works this way. Uh, just take any one of the five cards and just place it there without spending too much time Do thinking I look about at it? it. No, just place it face down there. Anyone? Yeah, anyone you'd like. That one there. And you know what, I'll just take the whatever's on my bottom and just go ahead and shuffle up the rest so that they're in a random order that you don't even possibly know. And just deal them face up in a row there. <clears throat> and you don't you don't know the order of these these cards, obviously. I give them a mix up so it's a true double volume test. It'll place my fifth card on top. You're going to do the exact same thing in a moment. You're going to mix these four up. We'll stack them up in a pile and place the fifth card on top. But you're not going to do it randomly like I did. You're going to sort of let your subconscious drive the, chain, the, the train. So let these sink into your mind for just a moment. Good, that's enough. But it's better if you're doing this without consciously focusing on the symbols. You're going to do this by taking any two symbols, switching them with each other, then taking the other two cards you haven't touched and switching those with each other as well. So switch two, switch two. In other words, you could start by switching these, then switching these. You switch these, then switch these. You could do the two on the ends, then the two in the middles. There's lots of different combinations you could go for. Okay. Make a decision and do it now. And again, stack them up. One, two, three, four. And then place your fifth symbol on top of everything, just like I did. How do you think you did? <laughs> I have no idea. And you weren't doing that with any sort of conscious plan. You were just sort of letting your subconscious drive. I suppose so, yeah. Let's see how well we did. I have a, a star. Off to a good start. That could have been just a coincidence, though. Let's see how you did on the rest. A circle? <laughs> Square, <laughs> maybe. You are highly intuitive. That is um, the, the best score I have seen on that test in a long time. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Wow. 